Hi, third graders. Um, a lot of you are finished with your pointillism, so we are going to move on to a sculpture project, and it is origami. Um, I, if I remember right, I didn't look through my book from last year, but I think you might have made a crane, a bird, last year um, in second grade. If not, it's okay. We're just going to follow directions again this year. Um, first, you're going to start out with a square. And the first thing you're going to do is you are going to make sure that the color is on the bottom because we want the color to show. So with your white square or diamond up, take the bottom corner of the diamond and match it up with the top point and crease it right below the point and then go out on each side. And you are going to end up with a perfect triangle. Try to make sure that your edges match up really, really nicely. Uh, the next thing is take the right side of your triangle and fold it over to the left side. And now you have a smaller triangle. Um, your triangle is actually going to open so leave um, the one side that you just folded down straight up and down. And there's going to be one side of your triangle that opens up. Now to open this up completely, you have to push your fingers all the way inside until it um, goes all the way up to that fold. So do that and then stretch out the sides and fold this top down. Now this is very, very tricky. And once you get it folded down, crease the edges. Remember, if you get this fold, because it is very tricky, you're going to have to help those who um, are having a hard time. So you're going to make a square out of that, and you'll have a little triangle on the back side. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but you've got to put your square down on the table. Um, and then this triangle, you want to make it point up. So you might have to bend it back and forth to make it point straight up. We're going to do the same thing again. One side opens. So open that up. Put your hand all the way in so it opens all the way to this tip. And then you are going to stretch it out. Teacher's bus 52 is the only bus I'm aware of at this point that's running late, so we may have some late breakfast theaters from bus 52. Thank you. And you're going to want to fold this down, matching the tip up right here and then fold it down. Now you are going to have a square. You're going to have a perfect square. Um, this, These next folds are pretty easy. You can see there's a line down the middle of my square. Make sure that it's um, pointing to you and away from you. Not side to side but to, towards me and away from me. And um, there's an open side and there's a closed side. We're going to fold on the open side, and I'm going to fold this right side corner and make sure that this is on the bottom. It's open on the bottom. I'm going to fold this right corner into the middle, but I also have to make sure that this edge lines up with that crease in the middle. There's a crease in this edge, so make sure that that lines up. And then we're going to crease. Make sure that it lines up really nice and you're going to get something that looks like this. Do the same thing to the other side. Take that, that point and fold it into the middle, matching that edge up. With the middle crease. Now we're getting a shape that looks like a kite. I'm going to turn it over to the side that's blank and I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Make sure that open side is on the bottom before you fold in. This is open. You fold this in. Fold this right corner into the middle making sure this side is matched up to this middle crease kind of similar to making paper airplanes. You have to do this also. 
and the next side fold this in and match it up to where it matches with that middle crease again and now we have a kite shape the next thing we're going to do we're going to unfold but this is to make a nice crease right here this top triangle fold it down right on that line that is made by these two folded ones on this line fold it down crease it really really good because we're going to use that crease so this and I'm going to fold it backwards too fold it backwards and forwards now we have a really good crease right in there. Now I'm going to unfold the front. I'm going to unfold the back. And now I have my square again. I know that's probably pretty frustrating, but we have to do that to make a swan or a bird. So now we have a square again, but we have all these creases that we need. Um, so with the open side, we're going to open it all the way up to that top that top crease. We're going to open it all the way to there and then our sides have already been folded so they should fold in pretty easily. So we folded it up and then you fold it in. You might have to use your fingers to help help it along to follow those folds that you already made. And now we have a big diamond shape. Turn it around and do the same thing to the other side. There's a crease right here that we made because that's our kite shape right there that we started with and we made that crease. Take that, try, take that square that opens at the bottom and fold it all the way up to that crease and then we have these edges that will fold in fairly easy because we've already got our creases made for that. And there is our diamond. Now you're going to have legs on your diamond and we are going to fold the edges in on our legs. So on the where it's open, you're going to take the right side and we're going to do kind of a similar thing. There's a line in the middle that separates our legs and we're going to fold the right end to where the edge lines up to that middle um, part and see how I am kind of like a paper airplane. I'm going to fold that in so it looks like this. I don't know if you can see there's kind of a line right here. Let me see if I can catch the light so you can see that. Kind of. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to take this edge in but I'm also going to line it up with the middle. And now we have a shape like this. Turn it over and do the same thing, making sure that the bottom is the legs and that's the side that you're folding in. It's the same side that we folded in last time. Now I'm going to do the other side. Folding this in like this. Okay, now we have a shape like this on both sides and as you can see it's like kind of two shapes together and if you open one side you will kind of have a box face with little ears on top open one side and then turn it over and open the other side now you're gonna have like a fox face with two ears the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the nose of the fox up and there's already a crease there you can see this line and we're just going to fold it up all the way onto that line turn it over and you see the other side is that fox face again with those ears on top and there's that line right there that we folded and you're going to fold that up again 
Now we're going to do the same kind of thing. Um, you're going to take the, the side and you're going to open it, turn it around, take this side and open it, and we are finished. <laughs> it doesn't look finished yet there, does it? Um, you need to, these are the wings on the sides that we just folded. This is the wing, and on the other side, this is the wing. And you can pull those wings down, but you can't pull it open because it would rip the paper. So there's a little hole in the bottom. So if you look at the bottom, there's a little hole. And when you go pull on the wings a little bit, don't pull too hard or it will rip. You blow in the hole. And you pull the wings a little bit and it makes the body. Now fold one side down to make the head. And you have this one. <laughs> it's fairly easy, but it's very beautiful when you're finished. Um, I know a lot of people have decorated their Christmas trees with swans, um, made them with their children and decorated, and um, a lot of people have decorated their house with them. So it's pretty exciting. Um, thank you so much for, for doing such a great job, and I hope that you enjoyed making this sculpture, 3D sculpture, swan out of paper. See you later, guys.